everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking and today we are going to be using something I've never never seen before but certainly never used and it's my new little fish barbecue. And this is it. Um, it's a, a dish we did measure. It's about sort of 40 centimeters long. I think I think it's made from aluminium. It's uh, it's pretty light um, and and thin as you can tell. And it has a, a coal basket, which I'm assuming we're just going to line with some briquettes or something like that. So we'll get those going before they go in. And a little vent there, maybe, to collect the ashes or allow air in. And that literally, that sits up on top. And you put your fish in and uh, you start cooking. So I'm going to go to the fish shop and pick something up. So we are now on the way to Bristol Fish Limited to see Sam in Bedminster and uh, he's going to help us pick a fish to cook today. Um, I'm alright thanks. Good. I've forgotten everything today. Camera right. rigs, I've forgotten, I forgot the dish, the lot. Um, you well? Yeah, not too bad. So we were going to have this monster but it's actually far too big for that pan. Um, so that's the stone bass, but uh, what, what is it we're actually having now? We're going to have, um, wait, you're going to have sea bream. Sea bream. Um, so it's a sort of sea bass, slightly more nutty in flavour. And a uh, grey mullet, which is not too dissimilar to a wild sea bass. It's slightly more of a waxy flavour. Um, waxy flavour, waxy texture, but it's a quite meaty fish. Um, I was going to say, I don't want a waxy flavour. No, not a waxy flavour. <laughs> Again, it's a great fish, it can take flavour. Because it's quite meaty. With us. And voila. Beauty. So that's, that is good to go now. It's good to go. So what I've done is I've measured out how much I think I'm gonna need. I don't wanna do a double layer because then the dish doesn't sit up on top. So that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll put them in there. Uh, and put a, a fire lighter underneath. And I'm gonna use the Big K Coca Shell barbecue briquettes today. So we'll see how that goes. Go. So, that's that, and then we'll let that do its work. Not long after, they're as good as they're going to be. They'll even up once they're in here. Um, I'd normally tip these, but I think they need to be put in. Right, I'm hoping that they'll even up. What we've got in the middle, we've got the grey mullet and then the two sea breams. And some lovely prawns there. All I've done is salted, peppered them. Um, you can see some lemons in there now. We're going to put the grey mullet into the, the fish barbecue, as I'm calling it. It's just some oil and some butter there. And then we've got the Weber over here for the, um, for the sea bream. Um, so we're going to sort of wing it, but see what happens. Right. Oh, one grey mullet going on. Here we go. There we go. That's pretty much how I imagined it. So we'll just let that sit now for a little bit. There we go. They're looking good. It seems to be holding the heat well. I don't know if you can see the coals in there, but it's bubbling away nicely. Um, it's roughly sort of what I had in my mind. Uh, and then over here, I've just turned these over. I'm happy with that so far. It's just some chicken that we've thrown on after the boy and that. So all is well so far. I think the hardest thing is going to be to turn this. Just about. Here we are. So it's all done. I think it looks good. Uh, hopefully, it's all cooked. I'll talk through 
some of the problems that we've had after I've eaten this. Okay, so everything um, has cooled down now and the ashes have all fallen through, which I like. So I thought I'd give you my thoughts on this. Um, firstly, I really enjoyed using it. Um, I think I went too big with the fish because obviously its head was all the way up here and its tail was, was hanging over the end. But if you look sideways on, anything from here is not really gonna get any heat. Um, same this end as well. So I think you're really looking at a fish that sort of just sits in that in that sort of sweet spot there um but it still works so i'm really really pleased with it um it seemed to not burn as well so i think the briquettes were a good choice i was a bit unsure whether to use the charcoal um or the briquettes but that's probably going to be fairly easy to clean that i should just empty out so all in all, I was really pleased with this. Um, it's a fun bit of kit to use. I've never seen anything like it before. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Give the video a little like, a thumbs up. And um, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got any tips on this, this was the very first time that I've used this. So really it was a bit of an experiment, but hopefully I'll see you soon.